What's up everybody, Jay here from JHP. Welcome to my garage. Today we're going to take a look at another Funko Pop. This one based off of a video game. Uh, ben had also bought a uh, graphic novel to go with it, which you can see in the thumbnail. But I can't find it and Ben's not here right now. So, moving on. But he does say that it was a really good read and I would imagine they're all pretty good reads. Anyway, we're taking a look at Sekiro. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. From the video game Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Pop number 777. Not much else on the box. Clearly this is a standalone. From the Pop Game series. And let's go ahead, open her up and take a look. All right, so this one does not stand very well, so I'm going to have to hold on to it here. Uh, it's not a bobblehead. <clears throat> Fairly detailed with, uh, you know, markings in the hair, scars on the eyes, all his little trappings and things in his, his gear. Not being a bobblehead means that the head can turn. And I'm going to put a picture right here to give you a comparison. And it looks like they captured the look of Sekiro quite, quite, quite well. It's a very cool looking pop. Unfortunately, I know absolutely nothing about it. Um, I just know that it's based off of a video game that Ben likes. Oh, and it should also be noted that while it doesn't stand very well, it doesn't have the hole in the foot for a Funko Pop stand. So that might be an issue if you display them out of the package. So that's it. That's a look at another Funko Pop. Uh, I think that might be it for Funko Pops for a couple of weeks, but uh, don't quote me on it. Ben and I are really enjoying collecting these things, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Remember to always play with your kids because that's very important. And as always, I'll see you next time.